Welcome to clickmeproject.com Our product title is the resource allocation in cloud computing using the uncertainty principle of game theory. This is our abstract. So the virtualization of resources on the cloud offers a scalable means of consuming services beyond the capabilities of small systems. Economical management of cloud resources needs allocation strategies with the minimum wastage while configuring services ahead of actual requests. We propose a resource allocation mechanism for machines on the cloud based on the principles of collision mechanism and the uncertainty principle of game theory. We compare the results of applying this mechanism with existing resource allocation methods that have been deployed on the cloud. We also show that this method of resource allocation by collision formation of the machines on the cloud leads not only to better resource utilization but also higher request satisfaction. Okay, this is the flow diagram for the resource allocation in cloud computing using the uncertainty principle of game theory. So first of all, every user has uh, registered in on the cloud. Here every user have assigned some username and password for login to the cloud. So the username and password both are correct then only go for next page. Then users with go for resource home for what are the resources and processing to be allocated for the multi users is to be generated. Again the key generation is automatically processed the key code based cryptographic mechanism is processed here the cryptographic using data is securely storing on the cloud computing to be ba certain users based on file sites again scheduler is allocating space or storage space for storing users data on the cloud computing here the cloud storage has separated with multi clusters or every uh, storage spaces is to be separating for the virtual machines so the virtual machines are vm1 vm2 vm3 are to be separated and finally these are the data to be stored into the cloud so the uh, again the user is retrieve the data using the cryptographic mechanisms as a decryption key. The decryption key using the user has download the data based on file size. Uh, suppose we are using the VM1, VM2, VM3. The data will be separated into the cloud. The user has easily retrieved the data from the cloud. username and password so the username and password both are correct then only go for next page use the login for existing users and the register for new or upcoming users so the login is just go for next page uh, the next two means the username is john the username is john so the this is some gmail to create the schedule and this is our uh, schedule so the shell element sutra. So the file chooser using and choosing particular file. File chooser using and choosing particular file. Again, this is our file. The file size is uh, 5kb. Okay. So the when I click to the so the details are stored into the database. So suppose stored in database. So next, uh, this is the detail for the uh, asking key permission. So the user is John. The public is generated and uh, the secret key is automatically generated by scheduler name Sutra. So this is our upcoming updated key. The, when I click to the uh, this page, the updated keys are automatically generated. So key store results, the data are stored into the cloud or database is successfully. So next, uh, so next, the here, the 
certain keys using we will encrypt our data for the security purpose so the key is the base for security and the data will be encrypted so file to sir using i'm choosing particular file this is our encrypted file so when i click to the encrypt the data will be encrypted and after it to be stored into the cloud so next so here uh, this is the page for the username is john for uh, example the scheduler uh, scheduler name etc the key is gen the key is uh, automatically generated a uh, file to the using and choosing particular file this is our file of under this is our file name so the file size is uh, 6 kb 6 kb so the file mode is encrypt or decrypt the file mode is encrypt so when i click to the upload the details are stored into the cloud okay and this is the next page and this is the page for scheduler using allocated the jobs so the scheduler is allocating the process for every user so the users are uh, users are to be stored in our data on the scheduler assigning place okay so when i click to the scheduler the scheduler details are stored for example the scheduler name is mongai the user name is the scheduler name is mongai the user name is mongai so when i click to the key the key is automatically generated again file to sir using i'm choosing particular file the city.txt is our file name the file mode will be decrypt so uh, which uh, cloud i will store so here i am using three machines as the virtual machine 1 2 and 3 This is the separating clusters for data. Here I am using um, three clusters as Visual Machine One, Two, Three to be separating for the cloud data. So Visual Machine Two, the process is complete. File size is five uh, KB. Okay, so when I click to the you know, Visual Machine Two, the date, the details are stored into the cloud accessibly. So when I click to the size, the size are to be accessed. so here i am using the uh, which uses or uh, to be upload the files onto the cloud uh, again the file is decryption so the uh, user is decrypt the file again the user is choosing the particular file when the user is decrypt the file will be decrypted successfully hmm, this is the allocation for storage data into machine one and uh, this is the machine two <coughs> this is the machine two so uh, this is the page for the cloud storage data this is the cloud storage data based on the file size so here uh, i am using three selected index as three virtual machines data will be displayed okay thanks for listening